14 year old vanishes. A mysterious letter is found and two bodies turn up near a lake. It's a murder mystery with few clues, but a lot of questions. Was it the work of a serial killer or was it someone she knew? Target 11 investigator Rick Earl tonight with more on the body at Berlin Lake. Sarah Bame was last seen in Rochester, Beaver County. Now that's about 50 miles from Berlin Lake in Ohio. And today, nearly three decades later, investigators have uncovered some promising new leads they hope will ultimately help them solve the case of the body at Berlin Lake. She was a quiet introvert. She was shy, but she was just a sweet little girl. On the night of July 14, 1994, 14-year-old Sarah Bain, who lived in Rochester, Beaver County, told her older brother she was going to a friend's house for a sleepover. She never made it. The next morning, her mother, who was working that night, went to police, and the family began a frantic search. We went down all over to Rochester, we went down to Bowling Alley, down the river where kids would hang out. You guys are canvassing the area. We went everywhere. everywhere. We went everywhere. Just days after she disappeared, family members make a shocking discovery in her bedroom. Under her pillow, a letter written by Sarah. She talks about running away and starting a new life. She even says she's in an abusive relationship with an older man. I met an older guy who gave me love and whatever else I was not getting at home. He was a very, very abusive man. Didn't anyone wonder why I always had injury, injuries? And I said I fell. I've always said the day I walk out the door is the day I'll never return. I thought everything over and it is best to leave. I'm just a burden. She wasn't a burden. Her uncle doesn't believe there was ever an older man in her life. He says Sarah was distraught over her parents' divorce. I just think it was just another cry out for attention. And she was, she was hurting. She was really, it was a sad little girl. The days turned into weeks, then months and years. Then in 2000, a break in the investigation. A Beaver County detective searching missing persons reports came across this sketch of a young girl whose body was found by hunters near Berlin Lake in Ohio in November of 1994, just four months after Sarah vanished. It's about an hour drive from Rochester. The detective made the connection and DNA test eventually confirmed it was Sarah Bain. So it must have been some sense of relief oh, that you could bring her it, home. We could bring her home, put her to rest, but for us, it's we have no rest until we find out who did that to her. We want, want justice for her. Investigators called it a violent death. She had been strangled. And the family got more disturbing and troubling information. Several months before Bame's remains were found, the body of 17-year-old Catherine Menendez of Alliance, Ohio, was found several hundred yards from Bame. She had been missing only a few days and was strangled and stabbed. Did that raise suspicions? Oh, yeah, we thought, is there uh, like maybe a serial killer or, or something? I don't know. Do you think there's a connection there? You can't rule connection out. They're, they're both similar in age. Beaver County Detective Mike Kreider has now taken over the investigation. At one point years ago, he says investigators zeroed in on Sarah's now deceased father, Jack, who was convicted of molesting a young relative. But he was in West Virginia at a concert the day Sarah disappeared. Nothing, nothing ever panned out with, with that theory. Uh, Jack had a pretty solid alibi of where he was at the time. On his deathbed, I had asked him, I said, Jack, is there anything you need to say, anything to get off your chest, whether to do about Sarah? And he just said no. I mean, he just wants to find out who did this to his daughter. And I believe him. I do. I wholeheartedly believe him. On the wall next to Detective Kreider's desk, a constant reminder of the case. And on a nearby bookshelf, binders filled with forensic reports and interviews conducted during the past 27 years. Every spare moment we get, we, we go through the files. Uh, we look for people who haven't been talked to. There's been hundreds of people spoken to. And there's a lot of work that have been done, and but there's a lot more that needs done. And Kreider says they've recently uncovered some new information. There's some people we found that, that have relationships between this area and the Berlin Lake area. So we've been follow, kind of following up on that, the people who have the two connections. Anything promising to you? Uh, there's a couple, I, there's a couple that could, I think, could turn out good for us. We pray that that will happen. We need justice for her. 
And today the family still holding out hope that one day Sarah's killer will be brought to justice. Meanwhile, investigators tell me the new potentially promising leads involve people with connections to both Rochester and Berlin Lake. Rick Earl, Channel 11 News.